before I begin, this is a trigger warning that this video will include descriptions of abuse. In the last several weeks, several women have come forward and talked about their experiences or being abused by men who are very prominent on YouTube. I'll link to a Tumblr post below that's a master post of the different descriptions and also a video made by Pottermoosh. Lindsay, who makes videos under the name Pottermoosh on YouTube, pointed out in her video that this has something that's been talked about a lot on Tumblr but not actually talked about on YouTube. This is also one of several points that Anne, aka The Geeky Bond, made in her video about abuse in the YouTube community. Her video was fantastic and it was talking about what we can do in the future to prevent more abuse happening in the YouTube community. If you're going to click just one of the links I post below, it should be that one. In response to the abuse that's come to light, several YouTubers have made videos on consent. I'm going to link the one made by Lacey Green below. As the Geeky Blonde stress in her video, this is something that the YouTube community needs to deal with. Currently, the general setup on YouTube is that you have creators and you have bands, and there is a massive power imbalance between those two groups. However, in this video, I want to talk about recognising abuse in general and what to do if you suspect one of your friends is being abused, because it's something that is disgustingly common um, it's now clear, if it wasn't clear in 2012 with what happened with Mike Lombardo as another thing that Anne picked up in her video, that YouTube isn't a safe haven. Often when people think of abuse in relationships, they think of the most extreme type of physical abuse, for example, of somebody be being beaten up by their partner, but that is only just one part of what counts as abuse. If your partner harms you in any physical way, even if it doesn't leave a mark, that is abuse. Sexual abuse is being forced or coerced or having an act done without permission in any, into any sexual act that you do not want to do. There is also psychological or emotional abuse which can be very hard to recognise and that includes being lied to, being manipulated or being controlled. If you are in a relationship, you should not feel scared or intimidated by your partner in any way and you should not have to change your behaviour because you are in fear of their reaction. If you suspect that your friend is in an abusive relationship, it's very important that you don't judge them and you don't blame them. Firstly, because it's not their fault, and secondly, if you are just judging them, that's not going to help them in any way whatsoever. You need to find a safe time and space to talk to them and tell them that you're worried about them and that, they're, that you're concerned and that the way they're being treated isn't right. This is a very short video to cover such an important topic, so I hope that you all look at the links I put in the description bar below. It's only through education and talking about abuse that we can prevent it from happening again, and I hope the YouTube community will continue to talk about it and remain vigilant not just through the upcoming weeks while this is still fresh in everyone's minds, but just continuously create striving to create a safer environment. There will be a girls on YouTube gathering on the 8th of August in the Jubilee Gardens in London, and I will leave a link to the Facebook page for information about that event below.